Welcome back to my personal channel, where we remember that the rich and powerful are to blame. On January 6, 2021, there was an attempt to interfere with the orderly transition of democratic power in order to keep a rich and powerful man-child in power. We discussed Donald Trump's indictment for the activity leading up to this, but that's not what we're discussing today. After it occurred, some corporations came forward and announced that they would be cutting off financial support to politicians who voted against certification. Today, we're talking about one of those corporations, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. On January 8th, 2021, the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association published a press release in which they announced in bold text, Blue Cross Blue Shield Association statement on suspension of contributions to lawmakers voting against accepting electoral college results. It continued, in light of this week's violent, shocking assault on the United States Capitol and the votes of some members of Congress to subvert the results of November's election by challenging electoral college results, BCBSA will suspend contributions to those lawmakers who voted to undermine our democracy. Nice, simple, straightforward statement. Sure, we're just a corporation, but the least we can do is not pay to destroy democracy. The problem with this statement, of course, is that it was bullshit. The very next election cycle, the 2022 midterms, saw Blue Cross Blue Shield Association PAC make contributions to lawmakers who voted against certification. The Blue PAC associated with the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association donated to Steve Scalise, Mark Wayne Mullen, Kat Kimmick, Jim Banks, Greg Pence, Jackie Walorski, Jake Letourneau, Mike Johnson, Jason Smith, Virginia Fox, Richard Hudson, Bill Johnson, Kevin Hearn, Mike Kelly, Guy Reschenthaler, Tim Burchett, Diana Harshbarger, Michael Burgess, August Fluger, and Beth Van Dween, all who voted against certification. Other Blue Cross Blue Shield packs associated with individual state plans also donated to Kevin McCarthy, Tommy Tuberville, Greg Stube, John Kennedy, Roder Robert Adderholt, Jerry, Carl, Barry Moore, Gary Palmer, Mike Rogers, Debbie Lesko, David Schweikert, Jay Obernolte, Mario Diaz, Ballort, Byron Donalds, Neil Dunn, Scott Franklin, Carlos Jimenez, Brian Mast, Ross Fulker, Mike Boss, Jim Baird, Ron Estes, Tracy Mann, Clay Higgins, Sam Graves, Blaine Luke Kamayer, Dan Bishop, Ted Budd, Greg Murphy, Yvette Harold, Nicole Maliotakis, Elise Stefanik, Adrian Smith, Stephanie Bies, Tom Cole, Frank Lewis, Cliff Benz, John Joyce, Dan Moyser, Lloyd Smucker, Glenn Thompson, Jeff Duncan, Tom Rice, William Timmons, Joe Wilson, Chuck Fleischman, David Kustoff, John Rose, Jody Arrington, John Carter, Pat Phelan, Lance Gooden, Pete Sessions, Ben Klein, Morgan Griffith, Rob Whitman, Carol Miller, Scott Fitzgerald, and Tom Tiffany, who all voted against certification. That's a lot of lawmakers who, as they said, voted to undermine our democracy, but who they still decided to support. What makes me particularly upset about this bullshit is that it got a bunch of positive coverage. Here's Washington Post. Here's Politico. Here's The Hill. Here's CNN. But of course, Blue Cross and Blue Shield did not stop those donations. They donated to all of these politicians for the very next election cycle. They could not even sit out a single election cycle. So presumably, of course, Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association has another press release where the headline is Blue Cross Blue Shield Association Statement on Resumption of Contributions to Lawmakers Voting Against Accepting Electoral College Results. But of course, there is not. They were totally willing to brag about halting them, but never mentioned resuming them and did not sit out even one election cycle. I have reached out to the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association to see if they can point me to where they publicly announced this that I missed, but they have not responded with that or any other comment. Almost like it was all a lie. Corporations lie to you all the time. They will announce they're doing something and just never do it, and basically no one ever follows up. Well, except for those of us here on my personal channel who remember that the rich and powerful are to blame. So finally, Let's wrap this episode up in the most direct way I can. Fuck you, Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association, you lying piece of shit.